Good morning children namaste I am Dhananjay English teacher It has been many months now that I am no longer could be connected to you in a face to face regular classes We are much aware what has stopped us from face to face classes It's the pandemic that has threatened the entire human race For the first time we are slowly but steadily transforming to altogether a different mode of life staying at home maintaining the social distance and wearing mask are the necessary things which can safeguard our lives in this session i would like to spend some valuable time with all of you discussing about a unit in your class well i am going to engage a lesson from your class that is 8th standard dear students to perform an activity to do any task or to perform any type of work we do all need one particular source what is that just an example to run a bike or a car what do we need the car may be of any price but basically essentially it does need fuel in the same fashion all of us we do need food without food it's impossible to sustain and live dear students there are three basic needs food clothing and shelter even the poorest man has to get these three minimum things but is the food only for human beings do only human beings need food of course no because every living creature needs food what is food a food is something that provides nutrients energy for activity growth and all functions of the body such as breathing digesting food and keeping warm materials for the growth and repair of the body and for keeping the immune system healthy food is source for our life it gives us energy nutrients and all the basic elements and especially it repairs the body keeps the body in a fit condition and builds immunity because immunity is a word heard nowadays more oftenly because of the changing trends and we all know that food is very important then there i have a question you can see on the screen there are uh, two images and uh, images are very fam familiar to you my first question to you is what are different food items kids in your home your mother or elder they prepare variety of food and variety of food is prepared on variety of occasions india known for its diversity it is called subcontinent of the globe why do we call india a subcontinent because there is a diversity in everything in the culture in the language in the population and in the clothing and of course in the food so what are the different food items it can be anything for example i have shown you on the picture there are idli chutney vada sambar dosa rasam and these things food you much find in southern part of the country but when you go to north side the scenario is changing according to the geographical changes according to the climatical conditions taste preferences food items keep changing 
And then my next question is, what is your favorite food? My dear students, all of you will have a different taste. What is your favorite food? Of course, you may have paddos for the breakfast, dosa, puri, poha, upma, sweet, anything. You will have all different kinds of food items. And that's why there is still kind of opportunity for innovation, for discovery, in changing the recipes, dishes, and new dishes we keep trying. That's the importance of we prefer different things. And my third question to you is, what food do you eat in the morning? Morning food or the morning meals, afternoon meals and the evening meals are, are entirely different. So what is your breakfast? The food we consume, the meals we consume in the morning time is called breakfast because we break the fast. Obviously the picture says most of the items that we consume in, in our breakfast time. And coming to I ask you another question, what food do you eat in the afternoon? Students, I am really missing your faces and your active involvement in schools because we used to have those midday meals. The entire midday meals scheme is beautiful where you can have the lunch right within that uh, premises of the school. Midday meals was all great fun for all of us. With the learning we used to have delicious and of course healthy food. But unfortunately due to shutdown of schools, we are still missing but we hope for the bright days to come and sun will shine again. We will all have good time and we will start that very soon. And coming to the night part, there is a question, what food do you eat at night? Because the whole day you have been busy with physical activity, mental activity. Night time is a time, it's a very atmosphere, it's cool, weather is, weather is very chill. What type of food do we consume? Again, I'm stressing, food intake is totally different based on weather, climate, geographical conditions and of course to our requirements. My dear kids, I have a one last question in this. We have talked so much about food. Who is exactly preparing food at your home? Is that mother? Of course. When we come home, we rush towards mom. We say, we ask, where is the mother? Because mother keeps ready for us. But still, I have a question. Who does prepare the food or who do prepare the food or cook the food at your home? If you are a mother, please, if you are getting much time, you assist your mother and learn yourself. And further we move a little ahead in this. Here you see two animals. To my left side, there is donkey and to the other one, there is tiger. When you see these two animals, of course you will start imagining different attributes, different qualities of these two animals. Look at the two animals, what is their food? How do they get their food? Two important questions. And donkey is somewhat a domesticated animal. We use uh, it in different purposes. And uh, donkey is depending upon much of grass, plants, leaves of plants and sometimes uh, products of plants. But do you think the tiger do? The tiger is also depending upon such type of food? No. Tiger is wild animal and it is carnivorous. Carnivorous is an animal which lives on the meat of other animal. Like domesticated animals like donkey, ox, cow, tiger doesn't take the food as grass or plants. It has to hunt and eat. So there are different animals. There is a biodiversity on this planet and every single animal takes the food in its own way. So two pictures, two different food habits. Let's go ahead. Dear kids, let's understand the food of different creatures. There are three columns on the screen, human beings, animals and birds. We human beings, what do we consume? I am not talking about population of Karnataka, a population of a country. In general, we human beings do consume different varieties of food. For example, we eat fruits, vegetables, edible nuts and seeds, baked food, dairy products, eggs, meat, cereals, cereals, rice, seafood, etc. This is the variety of food. Of course, we can keep adding, but on a general, these are the things that we generally consume. 
then let's talk about the food of animals they eat plants plant products grass leaves and fodder some animals eat seeds grains and fruits insects and worms a few animals eat flesh of other animals just i spoke about tiger lion leopard these are the wild animals generally they hunt other weaker animals of the forest and they fill their appetite their stomach and what about the creatures which fly on the air that's the birds what is their food generally they eat fruits grains seeds insects worms etc so with this comparison we will have understood what are the different types of food being taken being consumed by living organisms let's go ahead this is very important kids most of plants make their own food they get water salts and other things from their soil they mix all these things in their leaves and prepare their food when the sun shines and this is called photosynthesis so now we have come to a proper point as the lesson says the wonderful world of plants my dear kids i have we have discussed so much about different animals human beings and their food styles but now let's discuss what is the food style of plants most of the plants they prepare their own food with the help of leaves and that process is called as photosynthesis what is photosynthesis plants get the water salts and other important things from where from the soil and they mix in the leaves during the day time with the help of sun rays with the help of sunlight most of the plants prepare their own food with the help of their leaves and this particular process is called photosynthesis but you may ask me a question do all the plants and trees follow the same procedure my answer is absolutely not because that's what the a strange thing of this planet let's look at the question have you heard of plants which eat small flies and insects have you heard of these kind of uh, plants if you have not heard we go to this lesson look at the picture there is a big jar open and trying to catch a fly this is a carnivorous plant they catch insects and eat them today in this session we discuss about a few of such plants look at the first picture what is that the insect eating plant sundew the name of the plant is sundew even in your textbook the same image is given sundew is a plant which does not prepare food with the help of photosynthesis it has a different plan what is that plan how sundew gets its food look at this its leaves look like clubs the leaves of sundew looks like club club means a thick stick a thick stick on each one of these leaves there are long hair like parts drooping outwards at the end of these hair like part is a tiny droop of a sticky liquid in a simple word i will tell you sundew plant it has got a long sticks in the long sticks at the end of long sticks there are hair type hair like parts at the top of hair like part there is a liquid sticky liquid and it looks like a bead attractive bead bead is a small object has got a hole in it and beads are used in chanting prayers and all so that shape is seen which attracts the flies especially butterflies let's see but how does it help if you look at the picture again look at that the plant has got lot of clubs and at the end of each leaf there is a bead type of sticky liquid this sticky liquid attracts the butterflies but when the butterfly comes and sits on that sticky liquid sticky means what gluish antantagirudu when it sits the legs of butterflies get stuck it cannot free itself over a period of time being helpless unable to free itself from the plant the butterfly dies 
When it dies, automatically it becomes a food. So this way, sundew gets its food. Let's go to another very important kind of insect eater. What is that? The pitcher plant. Dear kids, you can see the picture. What is the name of the second insect eating plant? It is pitcher. What is pitcher? Pitcher means jug shape. The meaning of pitcher is jug shape. You might have seen jugs in your home, especially used in bathrooms or you take the jugs to water the plants. So it is in the shape, the appearance of pitcher is like a jug. And how does this plant get its food? The end of plant's leaves are shaped like a jug or a pitcher. There are small hair like things inside the jug, shaped leaves. At the bottom, there is a liquid. Kids, you can see the picture. When insect or bee or butterfly, when they come and sit on the pitcher plant, it gets slipped. When the butterfly or insect gets slipped, it goes to the bottom level. It goes to the bottom. And in the bottom, there is a liquid, sticky liquid. When it goes there, any insect which cannot come out and eventually it will die there and then it becomes a food. So this is the different style, this is a different strategy, this is a different plan, how the pitcher plan get its food. Kids, after this you will be wondered to see one more important thing that is the third insect eater plant is Venus fly. This is Venus fly. This is another insect eating plant. How does it get its plant? It's very simple. You can see two flaps. Two different parts are there which are like opened mouth. It long leaves have two flaps at the top. These flaps can open and close. Can open and close. When an insect comes and sits on it, automatically it closes itself. When the flaps are closed, it closes so tightly that insect will die inside. There is a firm grip for these two flaps. And when it is open, the insects come. When insects come and sit on it, it will close. Insect dies. And when the plant eats away the insect, then automatically it opens for hunting again. So this is another very peculiar, strange and deadly plant. That is Venus fly. Kids, so far we have discussed three different types of carnivorous plants. And now let us try to understand. I think you have understood the entire lesson. The lesson is all about three important carnivorous plants or uh, the plants which eat insects. They do not follow the procedure of photosynthesis. And now let's understand what are the new words which have come in this lesson. Again you can see on the screen there are three important columns. First one is new words and their meaning and how to use those words in your own sentences. First one is sundew. What is sundew? Sundew is a plant that we have discussed. First plant in this lesson. It's an insect eating plant. How can we use in our own sentences? You can use in any way. I am going to use it in one or two sentences. I have seen a sundew plant in our school garden. In my village, there are many sundew plants. My headmaster has got sundew plants in his house. Like that, any use you can make. Let's go to the second one. That the, the word is droop. Droop means to bend downwards. Droop means to bend downwards. How can we use in the sentence? The flowers were drooping in the hot sun. Fresh flowers, when there is so much of hot sun, they are not very fresh and open, my open headed, they droop downwards. The meaning of droop means to bend downwards. And the third one is sticky. In the lesson I have told you the meaning sticky means gluish. How can we use? I have got sticky oil. Or you can say I don't use sticky oil to my hair. It's a non-sticky oil. The fourth word is tiny. The meaning of tiny is small. How can you use in your own sentence? Ants live in tiny anthills. Ants live in tiny anthills. Anthills andre irve vasasthala. 
or burrow, B U R R O W, burrow. Or you can say elephants have got tiny eyes. Fifth word is bead. I have told you the meaning a small round thing made of glass with a hole through it, small beads. My grandmother uses beads for chanting prayers. The last word is trap. Trap means being caught. Thieves were trapped by the cops. Trap means you can also use this word in your own in the, with the help of lesson. Venus fly traps, trap means catches the insect. In this way we can use and these are the new words you will have to practice and you can make these words in your own sentences. Dear kids, there are two more last words. Squeeze. Squeeze means to press firmly. Venus fly flaps. When an insect goes inside, it squeezes. How can we use the word squeeze in, a, in our own sentence? We squeeze the mango before we eating. I squeeze the sponge. I squeeze an object. Squeeze means press firmly. Victim meaning is a person or thing tricked and caught. Flush, how can we use the word victims? Floods washed away homes of many people in North Karnataka. Now the victims of flood need the generous support from the government. Victim means in a way unfortunately a sufferers. Victim means suffering. So these are the words that we have to focus. Dear students, now let's try to discuss on the following questions. Can I ask you questions so that we will come to know how much we have understood out of this lesson. Where do most plants get food from? It's a general question. Where do most plants get food from? What is the answer? Exactly. Most of the plants get their food with the process of photosynthesis. What is photosynthesis? It is a process in which plants take salt, minerals, water from the soil and mix it in the leaves when the sun, sun is shining. My second question is, how does the sundew plant get its food? How does the plant sundew get its food? We all know that sundew is a carnivorous or insect eating plant. How does it get it? The sundew plant has got a clubs, a long sticks. And in each stick there is a hair like part. On the top of hair like part there is a liquid, sticky liquid. And that bead attracts the butterflies to come. Being attracted, butterfly goes and sits on it. But unfortunately the legs are trapped so it dies away. In this way this uh, plant gets its food. The third question is how does the pitcher plant hunt bees? First one was sundew. The next one is the pitcher plant. How does it get its food? The pitcher plant has got leaf. The leaf is in the shape of pitcher or a jug. And bees are get attracted to see it. And when they come and sit on the top of it, it slip down. In the down, at the bottom, there is a sticky liquid which will stop the bees to come out and eventually it dies. And that is how the pitcher plant gets its food or it kills bees. Why do butterflies come and sit on the hair like parts of the sundew? This question is already I have explained. Because of the bead, butterflies get attracted. They come and sit on that particular liquid and eventually they all die. So kids, I think you have understood all the questions. Now let me take you for an interesting activity. What is the activity? The activity is this. Dear children, let's play a game. The game is to make as many words as you can using the letters of words given below. In simple words, I want to tell you, I give you one word. All of us, we know that meaningful words will have alphabets. Each word has got some letters in it. And using those letters, we have to make different or a new word. One example I have done, let's look at this. What? There are four words, teacher, student, mother, father. In the word teacher, the letters are T-E-A-C-H-E-R. Using these letters, can we make uh, different words? Of course, look at the screen. T, her, teach, reach, eat, cat, act, tear, ear, rear. Most of the words meanings you know, they are all simple words. Similarly, we will go to the other one. Let's try the other words. Wonderful. With this word, what different words can we make? 
Wonderful is just one word. But this wonderful word has got some letters. And using these letters we can make different words. One word red. Doer new. How do found low. Fun etc. These are the words that we have just made with the help of wonderful. Can you think of other words? Yes. Other word is outwards. With the help of outwards, what different words can we frame? To, war, sad, dot, ra, right. These are the words we have framed with the help of outwards. After this, there is one more word, insect. With the help of this word, we can construct in, ten, sin, sight. But I want to tell you something. These are just limited words. If you have more ideas, you can create more number of words. There is no restriction. As an example, I have tried my level best and fought, found these words. In the same way, in your textbook, in the lesson what I have taught to you, there are many words. Please take any few words, at least take few words and start practicing. And now, let's go for another enjoyable interesting concept puzzles there is a description in each sentence each description sentence has to be replaced by one word are you ready let's go I fly but I am not a bird I have a long tail but I am not an animal people enjoy looking at me flying who am I something is telling about itself what it, what it says I fly I am not a bird, I have a long tail, but I am not an animal. People enjoy looking at me flying. Who am I? Start guessing. It's, of course, kite. Kite. Okay. Second one. I am always at the dining table. Dishes will not be tasty without me, but you use me very little. Who am I? Three clues. It's on the dining table. Second clue, it is uh, food is no taste, food is, gets no taste without it. And third one is we use it very little. And that is what? Salt. Third one is I bring you variety of news every morning. You begin your day in my company. I live only one day. Who am I? Again three clues. It brings news. We start it, we start our day with its company and it lives only one day. What is it? Of course, you are right. That's newspaper. It brings news. We start it in the morning. But do we use the same newspaper for next one week? No. It's only, validity is only one day. Look at the last one. Children love me and they run after me. I have color. I have colorful and attractive wings. I am a friend of flowers. Who am I? Listen and see again. Children love me. They run after me. I have colorful and attractive wings. I am a friend of flowers. Who am I? Of course, butterfly. Kids, did you enjoy this? Of course, I think you have enjoyed. I want to wind up this my lesson today. Before that, I want to give you some assignments that you have to work at home. Study the plants around your home or school. Wherever you are living, you will have some diversity. You have some plants and trees. Please study them. And after studying what you have to do, you have to answer the four questions. Where they grow, they are used to man, the seasons in which you find them, do they attract any insects or any birds? If yes, prepare a list of the activities. That's it for today's English class. Thank you so much. I appreciate for all of you are joining and have a good day. We will meet again in next session. Till that, take care. Bye bye. Stay home. Stay fit. Anudina, Anukshana, Mani Yellu Kaliona, Kalikeya Hosahadi Ali, Jute Gudi Hitcheya Hakona, Santa Chadi Kaliona, Tamma Hindi Ali, Classinali. Yes, sir. Yes, teacher. Sasen, ma'am.